to see us as <clears throat> being a little crazy. But don't worry about the, 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 the false suppositions mm -hmm. or the questions that may attack our character mm -hmm. because we know who we are yes. and we know whose we are. Yeah. Right. And then finally, as I get ready to close, this Canaanite woman, she said that dogs even benefited from the crumbs that fell from the master's table. And my church family, what I would like for us to take with us, especially in this faith walk of ours, as we strive to serve God, mm -hmm. is that God has a way mm -hmm. of positioning us so that when, it's, when necessary, we can get a crumb that falls from the table. Mm -hmm. Even if he has to move us under the table where the crumbs are. Alrighty. Just know that as long as we're faithful and we're striving to do his will, yeah. he will provide resources yes, to match those opportunities yeah. that we're confronted with to do his will. Yes. All we got to do is have it in our minds that we're going to do his will as an act of obedience and nothing else. And he'll provide us with the things that we need. Yes. Even if it includes additional people in our lives. Amen. All right now, religion. As I get ready to close. Yes, Jesus' initial response was a little strange. Particularly if we don't continue reading the story. Yeah, the disciples were strange too by saying send her away. But this woman, even though she was a Gentile. And outsider, she shows all of us what a fervent and sincere faith looks like. Amen. Jesus responded, but he responded because of the faith that she displayed. Mm. And brothers and sisters in Christ, this is why this is one of the reasons why I, why I emphasize so much in, in my ministry that if we can't do anything else, let's strive to be faithful. We will never be perfect, Amen. but in spite of our imperfections, yeah. we can be faithful. Amen. That's one of the reasons why, you know, oftentimes you'll hear me close out Wednesday night with Revelation 2.10. Just to remind and reassure us yeah. that faithfulness, it will always be rewarded. Amen. Yes, sir. yes, we will get discouraged sometimes because we put our hearts and our souls into trying to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But it ain't always going to happen. Right. Oh, I forgot I'm streaming. It will not always happen. <laughs> it's not going to always happen. But as long as that faithfulness is there, Amen. then it's only a matter of time before the reward will be there as well. Amen? Yes, sir. If anyone here this morning has not yet entered into a relationship with Jesus Christ, we do that through faith, repentance, confession, and baptism. Hebrews 11.6, without faith it is impossible to please God. Repentance, Acts 17.30, God at one time winked at ignorance, but now he commands us all to repent. Amen. Confess him as Lord in Christ, Matthew 10.32.33, and be baptized in water for the remission of sin, Mark chapter 16, verse number 16. And for those of us who are here, who may have been faced with right now opportunities, but we chose to be patient instead of respond. Help me, somebody. Yes. For whatever reason, we may have been hesitant. Mm -hmm. The invitation is for you as well. Amen. We've all dealt with self-doubt at some point in our lives. Amen. And this may just be the season where you have a little of that self-doubt. Mm -hmm. But we serve a Lord who's able to remove all doubt. Yes. He'll take that doubt yes. and replace it with confidence. Yes. And give you what you need to continue to go forward. Yes. Amen. Go ahead and stand up to your feet right now and make the decision to trust him as we sing. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be the word.